Hello, let's play across the obelisk. I'm gonna start by pressing the old play button. And I get to choose. I get to choose a game slot. Do I want? I'll just pick the first one. No fuss. Act one, Kingdom of Sinentia, <laughs> Sinentia, sure, let's go with that. How it happened, you ask? It was during the princess's 16th birthday. Everyone was in the courtyard anxiously waiting for her. She was going to be introduced to the Wizard Academy, an honor reserved for those who show aptitude. She has, oh my goodness, words are hard. And she really had a gift. So attitude is her gift. Suddenly, an explosion emerged from the princess's chamber, followed by a burst of energy that swept through the kingdom of Symanthia. The royal guard explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hansha. The court magician and advisor to the king. That's a great name. Lord Hanchuk. Hanchuk. I can not even say it. But it's great. The king sent soldiers throughout the kingdom, but none of them returned. The last thing he heard was that her trail was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries until now. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree and announced that he would reward anyone who brought the princess home safely. The news quickly spread through the kingdom and many groups of adventurers prepared to venture into the forest and investigate the obelisk to find the princess. This is the story of one of those groups. Just one of them, you know, there's, there's many, but this is the one. Just seem it's my group. Let's see what this game is about then, huh? Focus on one damage type. Oh my gosh. Focus on one damage type can be powerful. Oh, focusing on. Huh? Focusing on one damage type can be powerful. But you may need a backup plan for enemies who can resist it. Okay. Oh, look at the little trees. Reginald. So is a Reginald. Magnus. Why are they so far away? Are they friends? 100 out of 100. So they are like, okay. Hmm. L1, L1. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, there's lots of options. Oh no, it just tells you what things are. Combat. Uh huh. I assume I go to the lonely tree. Oh, a bunch of stuff flew up before I could see it. I'm sure it's fine. Energy management and cards. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. When you pass the turn, the energy hasn't been used will be accumulated for the next turn of this hero. Okay. <clears throat> so that's slightly different to like Slay the Spire where the energy's just gone. Card targets. This box shows available targets. If there are multiple targets for your card, you'll have to select which one will be affected. But if there are only one, releasing the card will automatically select it. Okay, I can, I can see. Self, self, ugh. self, hero, hero, front monster, front monster. I have four energy and I can end the turn. Oh, what did I do? Uh, okay, I will... Rend. Wait, what's the difference? Deal 10. Deal 4. Apply poison. Ah, uh, bleed. Lose 1 HP per charge at the start of your turn. Deal 10. I assume bleeding him would be much better. Well, I can do both. Oh, can I see where they get into? I can see the tone order. Ah. I see. Rent. Prince. One block damage per charge. Okay. But I can't actually see what they're gonna do. 14 block. I'm gonna slice it and get that 14 block, I think. 
Not that I... Not that I know quite what they're gonna do. The cards that Montrezl are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movements in anticipation. Oh, I've been anticipating. <gasps> oh, I had to choose who I was going to defend, maybe? All characters have a speed value, which can be modified by cards, items, and traits. That value establishes who moves first, and in case of a tie, the closest hero to the symptom will have priority. Okay. So I'll have to kind of keep that in mind. Sight. Oh! Now let me see what he's gonna do. Okay. Holy spell. <laughs> Makes it so holy. It's a flash. Heal. So I can heal my guy. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I will use this. How do I? Oh. Okay. Let's see, that's so tiny. He's gonna do a big hit again. Can I? I may as well keep that. So the energy is tied with the hero, I think. Yeah, because he only has three. <laughs> so um, he's gonna chop for sixteen, but I can kill him first, right? That's a front monster, so he's dead. And give him some poison. Can I give him some block? Because he keeps getting hit. Yeah. I say keeps getting hit, you got hit once. Gunshot? Don't give me a gunshot. Okay, so this guy's a healer and that guy's the attacker. Okay, I understand, but I can still do eight damage. Got it. Well done, you did the first battle and you didn't die. Can you imagine? <clears throat> Thorns and burn damage can both be blocked by armor. Be sure to hit them first if you want this damage to get through. Okay. <gasps> A little buck. Okay. Ooh. Lower than free. Hold on. Event rolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use the cards from his own deck. Okay. I will try to convince her. So Nephia's Tavern. You arrive at a nearby tavern and there you meet Andrin, Reginald's brother. After talking to him for a while, he decides to join your party, yay! In a corner of the tavern, you see a woman who seems to be a mage. It would be nice to have someone like her in your party. Do you want to try to recruit her? Yeah, <laughs> a mage would be fun. Who's going to say no? <gasps> Success! I wonder where the chances of failure are. After speaking with her, she introduces herself as Evelyn and tells you that she is also looking for the Princess of Cementphia. So she decides to join you. Oh, that's nice. Little town. Can I like see what she does? <gasps> she does fire blasts. Oh, and little frost bolts. Okay, she's elemental. As you can see by the elemental. Hmm. I assume the little damage will matter later. Gain an extra energy per charge at the start of your turn. Oh, okay. What does the Andrin do? Rapture? Oh, I slow them down as well as bleed them. So he's like a stealthy rogue type. Hmm. Discard any of them. Look for cards. Discard I. <laughs> I know about being simplistic for a card, but look full card. Come on, come on. Hunter's Mark, draw one card. Gain four block, okay. Look full, look full. Draw one is fine, let's look for. Oh, suffer. 
suffer? What does suffer do? Gain? Oh, it's fatigue. Suffer one fatigue. Gain X energy. Okay, so I'll gain two energy, but I'll... Less energy per charge. Starve to... Oh, so it's like a... Get now and then lose out later. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to this little rock. Town actions. You can craft new cards for your decks. Upgrades any card that you have and buy up yeah, buy equipment for your heroes. You will also be able to claim rewards from previous games. Ah, the roguelike element. I know this. Alright, let's see. Town upgrades. Oh my goodness, okay. So supplies used to improve the town. This is gonna be a process. I can't do anything now. Do I really want to look into it? No. I think I will have a look when I actually have supplies. So I don't get overwhelmed and run away and hide. Magic Forge! <gasps> I can upgrade the cards and I can actually afford this. So I kind of really want to upgrade the Fire Blast straight away without looking at anything else. Um, I wonder if we can upgrade something for everyone. Hmm. Holy smite. Maybe upgrade that. I remember that's his only source of damage. Well, no, he's got the flash too. Upgrade his damage. 70. That's cheaper now, I think. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. What do you do? Oh, I can prune. Minimum number of sticks in this card is 50. So I can't, I can't remove anything. Oh, I can. How many, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, so I can get rid of one card. Uh, do I really need four defense? No, I'll leave it for now. I don't know enough about the game mechanics to mess around with stuff like that yet. Singarian Cod. If you have enough money, the Zangaria will grant you a divination card round. In a multiplayer game, everyone will benefit from this divination round. The higher the cost of the divination round, the higher the chance to obtain better cards. I will get some money for that, I'm sure. Buy some equipment. Oh, so these are like extra cards, accessories, armor. When you die. Oh, so this is kind of like relics. Okay. Fire damage plus one. Oh, okay. Combat end. I can't afford that anyway. Um. Oh, they're individual. Okay, so I'd want to buy her this. Oh, what's she got already? Resistance. What do you got already? Oh, around here regains game's a thing. What do you got? Or oh, resistance. Speed. He's a speedy boy. What have you got? <laughs> Bandages. Oh, he's a little healer. I mean, I knew he was a little healer, but... Um, combat games with clock. Maybe... No, you've got a ring. I think I'll leave it for now. But that's exciting! I spent way too much time in this town. But I've learned a bunch. Can I go in there? I've been there. Okay, that's fun. Let's see. Oh, I have a choice. Farmland or the outskirts. Well, I don't... Oh, I can see... Um, I can cancel the past with that. Oh, 
problem is, I don't know what anything is yet. Other than I gotta go to the old... Oh shoot, I do know what stuff is. I have a crafting node. I have a um, symbol guide. What's the word? A key. A key. Okay. I think for the purposes of learning, I will... <laughs> I will wing it. I say for the purposes of learning as if that's not what I do anyway. Oh, I got a full little team. It's cute. And who am I using? I'm using Andrew. Oh, look at the little sheep. Oh, they've got little flower backpacks on their butts. And super eyes. Oh. 41 health. Front wants a melee attack. Looking forward to discard any of them. Maze. Well. Uh, sure. Oh, it's um scrying. <laughs> I thought I'd gotta keep them, and then I can. Okay, I get it. I get it, Shmuel. I get it. Shmuel. Uh, sure. Bah. Bah. <laughs> That's brilliant. I can do eighteen if bah. I just attack. <laughs> bah. Bah. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, sound effects, the sheep win. <laughs> <Rawr>. <laughs> okay, and you, I already know your skrill. Um... Hmm. Bah. Bah. I'm sorry. Their turn. Okay, so I just... Give... I don't get to choose. Okay. Oh, now. Oh, self hero. I get to choose these. I'll give it to her. Here you go. But I'll get some, except for you at the back. It's fine. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even care what happens if I can hear that sound all day. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. You should die. Why aren't you dying? Lose Tempe at the start of the turn. Oh, I see. Haha. -ha. Self gain to energy. Oh, uh, sure. Hero energize. Okay. And you? So she's support too. Rocking. Grand hero. Institute is that one. Oh, resistance isn't she? Okay. Let's get rid of that guy. I just kill the sheep, right? It's, I just. I just kill him. I, I could. I could beat her on the bus, but that's not. Okay, you can see that. And I'm out of energy, no! No! Hold on. Okay. Mm. Let's see. As much damage as I can. He's the defensive healer guy, so he's not doing too much in terms of energy. <laughs> I did nothing, but that's fine. That's just do damage. And give you some shield and give yourself some shield while you're at it. And keep that energy. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I'll whiz through this in no time. So 25, 9. Bleeding is so slow. Paint. I can just. No, I can't. Boo. What I can do, though. Oh, that's front monster. I could have, um. It's fine. I could have weakened the back one, but I'm learning. I'm allowed to. One. Deal four damage. Uh, 
Let's not be hasty. Just kill that one and a pipe for you. And the slow. Sure. I will draw cards and gain energy. That feels like a great idea. Okay. Oops. That's fire. I gotta use it. I'm sorry, sheepsies. But it's free. Let's try. It's a ton of stuff. During your adventures, you will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you will only be able to craft unlocked cards. Okay, dokie. <gasps> Purple, what's this? Oh, it's a skull. <laughs> She's a necromancer. Oh, I love her. I love her so much, I have decided. Performance bonus, great. I'm great. How do I leave this menu? Oh, I have to choose. Is, mm, I give to her. Choose one of these cards. Wait. No! No! I chose the shards! I didn't take the cards! No! Well, that's stinky. I didn't understand. I was hasty. Is there a back button? Oh, that's fine. I'm learning. Yay. Learning is painful. I require stealth. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, <laughs> I wanted the necromancy card, okay, I'm here I believe, yeah, <clears throat> a grave on the road? As you move down the main road, you see a small grave on the side and decide to get closer. The grave has no name, but for some reason you can feel an eerie aura around it. Your adventurous spirit screams treasure! Or maybe it's danger! What will you do? Leave? You're not grave walkers. Robbers walk away. Profane. You start digging and hope for the best. Forage, ignore the grave, but take some time to search for some magic shards. I can try perform an exorcism before digging. Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead. Fail. Unlocked. Low self-esteem. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> A shameful reminder that something didn't go as planned. The eerie aura weakened a little bit, but just for a moment. You dig and find a chest, but just before completely digging it up, the eerie aura intensifies and a black smoke comes out of the chest. The smoke reaches some peaceful sheep nearby that go crazy and attack you. Low self-esteem. Boo. It's my fault. I made fun of the baz. It's really all there is to it. Fail. Oh, and I have to fight the sheeps? Okay. Why did it look different? It's black sheep? <gasps> what? It's just sheep and black sheep? Okay. Ranged attack. Oh. Use it on her. Oh, they're all okay. I'm still learning. Um. Bear. Bear. I have no self esteem. Take the bars. I love that so much. Oh, it's to yourself. Uh, 
I can I can just do everything. Give some shields to everybody except the back person because he can kill himself. And this is fine. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's gone. Oh my god, it's like a little it's gone. It's like a little monster face. I wanna see the artwork. Come on, Evelyn. Let's fire up some 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 lums. Gain two energy. Energy stacks anyway, right? Uh, what does this do again? Energizes extra charge. Yeah, let's give you to this guy because he's got expensive cards. Uh, what's this one do? Shield and resistance. Let's give it to you. Good little support, Evelyn. Okay. Oh, they're not showing me their cards. Oh, because it's the end of the turn. Um, one block per charge. Damage per charge. Uh, sure. Heal. You're the injured. You're a little injured too. And just end the turn. It's fine. Just end the turn. Um, let's see. Mark. Okay, so that's like dice for him and you give him the death mark. Yeah, I'm taking one plus recharge. Um, can I do 11? That'd be ideal. It's a drawer card. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so good. Oh, and I can kill the next one. Aha! Sure. Suffer. <laughs> Why is it so funny to me? Uh, sure. I'll look at everything first. Uh, vulnerable. Oh, haha. <laughs> He's got very so the block doesn't go away. It just kind of stays. Well, that's a concept. <laughs> But I'm a, I'm a kill sheep. <laughs> uh, sheep. Okay, I want to look at her card. <gasps> look at the little dancing demon fire spell. Yes. Oh, they're all fire spells. No. Apply burn. Ten burn. Damage and burn. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> scroll of speed. Nah, I want the flare. Bad. Oh, gray. Barrier, grant, suffer. I'm okay with stacking the burn. Poison dart. So I imagine each time I play, the build would be slightly different. Shiv. Well, he can draw cards, so I'm okay with having some low cards for him. I think I want that big mace. Yeah. I'll give you this. The eerie chest. After digging up the chest, it's time to see what's inside. For there doesn't seem to be any lock or any way to open it easily. The eerie ori remains, so maybe it's locked with magic. You can always leave it behind or try some crazy idea to unlock it, so what will it be? So last time I had really low self-esteem. So hopefully that's... This will be good. <laughs> Bury. You think burying that thing again will be for the best. Leave. You can't open it at first glance, so you decide to leave it behind. Break. You will try to force it open, even if it means breaking it. Yeah. Killing guys. I need five. <gasps> Four. Oh, so the, oh, low self will see you again. No. So I'm learning how this works. It's the cost of the card, so... Okay. So free-to-play cards are bad? This is messing with my brain of how card games work. After a strong clash, the chest remains... immutable. Sure. You can't waste any more time here, so you leave the chest behind. Okay. I think... That I will leave it here. And 
come back to this later. I've, <laughs> I've barely touched it. I've come one, two, three, f I've done four floors, but that's been like half hour, so I'll s come back to this and make it to the boss. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And hopefully I'll learn something and can do it again. I still don't know if there's like floors or if it's just from A to B. But I'm really digging it. And I hope that I can keep Ebling as fiery as possible. Thank you and goodbye.